doing, bud? Good day, it's Pat O'Malley calling here. I'm just coming off a night shift. I might lose you. Just give me a minute here. Just gonna get my rig pulled over. Brandon, it's up. Uh, I got your number from IHE there. Do I have the equipment operating school? Yeah. You got a minute? Yeah. Just going over your resume here, buddy. Hey, listen, I'm looking for a good guy to come skin truck for me here up in Prince George on the night shift. Okay. You got your class one? Uh, you don't, no. You don't, eh? Well, that is not an issue. We've got a very extensive training program here at O'Malley Industries, uh, Brandon, if you're interested. Uh, okay. uh, it's good money. Uh, what we do is... Uh, You'd sit on my lap and run the wheel, and I'd be running the pedals for you, because you got a double clutch, you see? So, about a week or two of that, uh, me running the pedals, you running the wheel, because I got a double clutch. Uh, if you're feeling pretty confident on the wheel, then uh, I'd sit on your lap and I'd steer. You'd run the pedals, because you got a double clutch, you see? Okay? Now, a week or two of that. Now, in the meantime, my wife Patsy's running the shifter in the passenger seat. Okay, brother? Are you with me? Okay, so I'm running the wheel, you're running the pedals, Patsy's running the shifter, okay? Now, if you're feeling fairly confident on the wheel and the pedals and the double clutching, uh, I am then going to go sit on Patsy's lap. I'm going to run the shifter, you're going to run the wheel and the double clutch, and Patsy's going to run the passenger window because let me tell you, when you're in the hot seat, you're going to want somebody cranking that window for you, bud, because it's going to be a steam cooker in there. You understand? Sure. Sound like something you might be into, bud? Yeah, possibly. Straight night shift. Uh, you get a dollar an hour more for being on the night shift. So what we do 24-7 a day, night shift, night shift, night shift. And we're going to be hauling logs. You ever hauled logs before? No. No, you haven't, because you never even double clutched before. You know what double clutching is? Uh, I have a rough idea, yeah. Okay. Well, tell me a little bit about yourself, Brandon. What have you done before in the past? Um, I went to school for the heavy equipment, and I worked at uh, my parents' warehouse. Your parents' warehouse. You run forklift there? Yeah. Good. So you got some forklift in operation skills. Yeah. Right on. You been around big trucks before, big rigs, 18-wheelers? Uh, no. Sound like something you might want to be into, making the big bucks here? Yeah, possibly. Okay. Well, that sounds good. Are you able to come up to Prince George? Where are you from, Brandon? Uh, Vancouver. Vancouver. Are you going to be able to make up Prince George just after Christmas? Um... Possibly, yeah, actually. Okay. I might be going up to uh, McKenzie to see if that. Oh, is that right, eh? Yeah. You got a buddy up in McKenzie, do you? Yeah. All right, on McKenzie's booming right now. We might even be hauling logs on McKenzie there if you if you pass the double clutch test, Brandon. Okay. Okay, now listen. I might set you up at the uh, at Esther's Inn in the Jacuzzi Suite if you do come up. So make sure you bring your trunks, cause we are definitely gonna be hitting the water slides. Okay. Uh, bring your water rings, because I'll take you in the deep end. Okay? And uh, if you pass the double clutching test, we're probably going to get you working night shift right away. Okay, Brandon? All right. Okay, I'm going to pass your resume along to my wife, Patsy, and we're going to be in touch with you here shortly. Okay, Brandon? All right, sounds good. Okay, bud, thanks for your time. No problem. Okay, love you, bud. Bye.